Who's your favorite pit master's favorite pit master? Hey, what's going on, Tremendous Q fans? It's Boy here, Wayne Morris, owner of Pitmaster Tremendous Q, and today I'm back with another video for you guys. Now, you know, I gotta thank everybody for stopping by, whether you are new to the channel or you found it on purpose, you tripped over it, I don't care how you got here, thank you for stopping by. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button, cut on those notifications so you can get notified when I drop all my latest content, all right? For everybody that's returning to the channel, all you returning subscribers, I appreciate you guys' support, okay? So today I'm doing, doing a super quick video for you guys. I'm actually gonna be cooking up some fish, all right? This is fish that I found in the local market. It's pretty common, but I wanted to give it a try and I was in the mood for some fish and I figured I'd make it a video about it, all right? So let's go ahead and jump right into this and you guys can see how I cook this whole fish in today's video. All right, so today we are gonna be cooking up some Dorad, all right? Now, as you can see, this fish is whole it, it got it from the local market and it is actually relatively easy to find over here uh, in 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 Europe this fish had normally comes gutted but the scales and the fins are usually still on there so we are gonna go ahead and have to take the scales off now while I'm doing that uh, this fish has actually a lot of names, okay? Dorade is, is what I use for it, okay? And that's the, the French term. Uh, the Italian restaurants, they call it orata. And Spanish restaurants, it's called dorado. And it's sometimes even called sea bream as well, all right? But all in all, it's a really good fish that has a really strong edamame flavor. Um, I, it's not something that can really be cooked off, but uh, if you use a lot of citrus, which it's a popular Mediterranean fish, a lot of citrus pairs really well with the way that it's made over here in Europe, all right? So we got the scales all cleaned off. We're gonna go ahead and dump it in some water and make sure that it is fully clean and any loose scales, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that those are already brushed off, all right? Now, the prep for me in this video is actually going to be relatively simple okay i'm going to make some slits in the side so so both sides of the deride and i am going to add salt and pepper and then i'm going to slice some lemons and shove those in the belly of the fish okay we are going to be smoking this fish not grilling it so i'm not overly concerned about the lemons getting burnt or the the skin of the fish getting too too done getting overdone or blackened so as we're getting this fish fully prepped talk a little bit more uh, about the deride all right it, it's a it's a white flesh fish okay and it's similar to red snapper or pompano all right and it, it, it's marketed in the united states as well so if you're watching this video and it, it is becoming popular in the united states so it is some something that if you do have it for the first time here in europe or if you're already stateside or you're living stateside, you can find it there as well, okay? The most popular places in the States are gonna be along the coast, uh, especially over in New York, uh, but this fish can be found throughout the United States, all right? Now, I'm going to go ahead and remove the fins from my fish, and it's really just a personal preference. You don't have to do this, but for me, uh, it's just not something that I like to fight with once I pull the fish all the way off uh, off the grill, okay? Now, I got the thing fully prepped. I got my slits in there. I got the, the scales completely removed. I got the fins removed, and I took the fins off the spine as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit it with our salt and pepper, and you wanna make sure that you bend the fish so that we can get it inside those crevices that we made in the flesh, all right? And then the same thing, you also wanna make sure that you get it inside the cavity as as well now we're gonna go ahead and shove our lemons inside the fish and this bad boy is actually now ready to hit the grill we're not gonna add any greenery like parsley or anything like that but those are absolutely flavors that will go really well with this fish all right now we're gonna be smoking with apple wood all right got my Weber set up in a two zone method and here is the Dorad. it is on the grill and it is 
ready to go. All right, look at it. It's a happy looking fish, isn't it? <laughs> it's a real happy looking fish. So we got this thing on the grill. Let's go ahead and close the lid, give it some time, and come back in about 10, this is about 15 minutes, not 10, it's about 15 minutes into the cook. Okay, you can see that it's got that nice mahogany color. We got some really good smoke going on to this fish. The color is looking great. The flesh is starting to turn white. This is looking really good, but we are not done yet, all right? Let's go ahead and close the lid and give it a little bit more time to cook, okay? And we are back. Movie magic <laughs> here on YouTube. Uh, something I love about doing videos, okay? Let's go ahead and temp it. We're looking for 165 and we are not quite there. Got right up to about 152. This is what it's looking like, but we gotta leave it on the grill a little bit longer, okay? And hey, if you've stuck around this long, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, cut on those notifications so you can get notified when I drop all my latest content. And feel free to hit the thumbs up button too, all right? Let me know that you like this content. Now, a little bit more time has passed and we are finally ready to pull this bad boy off of the grill. Total cook time was about 30-ish minutes, all right? And you can see the lemons have a nice mahogany color. The fish has a great mahogany color. The skin has crisped up. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy inside and see what it tastes like, all right? There, we're ripping into the flesh. We're gonna break through that skin, all right? We're gonna pull that skin back. Uh, I did lie a little bit. I thought the skin had crisped up. It looked like it did when I pulled it off the grill, but as you can see, it was a little spongy, all right? So let's go ahead and get our camera to focus. It, there you go, more movie magic. Got some nice white flesh Dorade, all right? The flavor on this was absolutely amazing. The lemon really came through and soaked through the flesh, even though I didn't actually sprinkle any on, but I really love lemon on fish. So we're going to go ahead and squeeze a little bit more of our remaining remainder remaining lemon. Sheesh. Say that 10 times fast. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of this deride. And I hope you guys get out on the market and get your own soon. Leave a comment in a section down below if you do and let me know how you like it. All right. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.